So lately I've been getting a number of comments and messages of people kind of expressing their concern about in the state of Unity's data-oriented technology stack and their entity component system, um, mainly because we haven't really just heard a lot of stuff from Unity publicly. And one of the big things that people point to is that, you know, we haven't seen a new release of the entities packages in quite a long time. Um, you know, I actually, when I started kind of like experimenting with dots and ECS and all that, we were getting updates to the entities packages fairly regularly. It was like almost like every month, it seemed like there was a new entities package update. And a lot of times these had like fairly significant Against sweeping changes but you know the latest release entity 0.17 I'm actually looking at the forum post right now um, they put up this forum post on January 24th 2021 um, and we're still on version 0.17. So I kind of just want to talk about, you know, a little bit about what's going on. And I know there are some people who are kind of concerned that we may never even see a Entities 0.18 release. And, you know, there may be some truth to that. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. So anyways, before we get into it, I'd just like to say if you do find today's video helpful and you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos about Uni's data-oriented technology stack and their entity component system. Of course, I will be providing any updates when we do hear anything from Unity um, as far as these things go. Of course, if you do have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave those down in the comments section below or over on Discord or at tmg.dev Discord. Now, there are a couple of reasons that I wanted to make this video. One of them being I just kind of wanted to address all the people who keep you know, asking me, expressing their concern about Unity's dots and ECS. Um, and the other reason was that I, you know, really hope that I kind of jinxed this situation and that, you know, when I put out this video, literally like three days later, they're going to put out the entity 0.18 package and all is going to be gravy. Um, so those are kind of the two reasons that I want to make this video today. Um, so anyways, let's kind of talk about this a little bit. So again, looking at this forum post from, um, you know, the dots latest release of the 0.17, this was put up on January 24th, 2021. Since then, there's only been one other reply to this thread um, saying that they published a hot fix to the entities and the hybrid render packages. That was on May 28th of this year. And otherwise, there have been no updates to the ECS stuff other than that. And, you know, we're at the beginning of October here right now and, you know, still really haven't heard a lot of anything publicly about um, any definitive releases of the next either preview package or a full release or you know any kind of a roadmap or something like that and pretty much the only real like glimpse of you know them speaking publicly about this um, is that one GDC kind of conference that they put on where they basically said you know entities is coming it'll be ready when it's ready so it's like okay great that's you know not really a whole lot of information other than yeah they still are working on it so I definitely see how it can be concerning to a lot of people from the outside you know just saying you know like what is the status of this you know am I going to be wasting my time learning all these things and is this just going to you know kind of fizzle out and people are going to like forget about it or something so I can tell you from everything that I know uh, that's definitely not the case I know Unity's you know doesn't have any plans to throw this out anytime soon they've been working you know extremely hard on this for a number of years even longer than they've been publicly speaking about this stuff um, it's definitely been in the works and even still to this day unity dots continues to be under heavy development they're still working hard on this the teams are expanding so it's not like they're um, you know getting ready to wind this thing down but you know quite the opposite they're really you know ramping up production right now but then it kind of comes back to the question of you know why are they not saying anything why haven't we seen any releases lately but there is another key piece to this puzzle and that is in regards to the video that i put out a few months ago um, regarding some of the changes that they announced about Unity's data-oriented technology stack and how the preview packages are actually not going to be available or compatible at this time with the 2021 version of the editor. And again, as far as I know, they haven't yet announced anything publicly about, you know, what kind of the plan is moving forward about, you know, if Entities is just going to be stuck on 2020.3 perpetually or if we are gonna see you know, some releases on some of the newer versions of Unity. And I wanted to bring this up is because the reason that they gave as to why the Unity Dots packages are not compatible with 2021 is because basically they said in 2021, they changed you know, behind the scenes about the way that packages are distributed. And then that caused some issues with the you know, whole preview packages and everything like that. And again, that happened a few months after the release of the entity 0.17 packages. 
So it's entirely possible that there's something wrong with that, that they you know, <laughs> can't figure out how to distribute the packages to us for some reason. And you know that may be causing a big hangup of why we're not seeing this. Um, and actually for that reason, combined with the fact that they are still working on this hardcore behind the scenes, I think that we may actually never see a release of 0.18. I know I think it's entirely possible that they just skip that version altogether. You know, maybe they're continuing on uh, other versions behind the scenes, and you know, maybe we do either get um, Entity 0.18, and then within quick succession, maybe within you know a few weeks or a few months or something like that, then we're already on uh, Entity 0.19. So then I kind of just wanted to close out this video by saying, you know, am I concerned about Entities and the state of it and everything? In general, I'd say no. Um, right now, I don't think there's any reason to be concerned for me personally. I don't have um, necessarily a commercial project in the works that relies on you know having a really solid uh, backend for Unity ECS. But for me personally, I'm having a ton of fun, you know, experimenting with this new technology. And you know, let's be real, even though it is kind of in the preview phases, and you know, you have to do a lot of workarounds for everything or not everything, but a lot of things because, um, you know, there's still a number of things that aren't fully implemented in ECS. At the end of the day, there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with it already. And, you know, it is fun for me to, you know, experiment with this and try out different uh, new techniques to kind of find out what works well, what doesn't. Um, and it's been, you know, extremely rewarding being able to, you know, find people, other people who are also using this um, in, you know, whatever capacity, whether they're experimenting with it or making a commercial product and kind of talking with them and figuring out, um, you know, some of the different things that they're doing. You know, we're kind of like exploring this this kind of new world of Unity ECS together. And, you know, it's it's just been a, it's been a ton of fun for me. And from my perspective, I do see Unity's dots and ECS being a large part of the game engine moving forward. I don't necessarily think that it's going to be the only part of their engine or the only way that you're going to be forced to make games or even that it's the best way to create games. But I do think that it is going to be an important part of development in Unity. Um, and so I'm having fun kind of like, you know, figuring things out as this evolves um, and, you know, just really looking forward to the future and seeing where this goes. And, you know, even then, because I'm like learning ECS and kind of like getting obsessed with this a lot, you know, it doesn't mean my object oriented programming knowledge goes out the window. You know, a lot of the client projects I'm working on are still object oriented based. So it's not like I'm, you know, really putting all my eggs into one basket, even though, you know, this is kind of the center of my YouTube channel. Anyways, I think that's just about all I have to say in today's video let me know what you think do you think um, are you concerned about unity's data oriented technology stack at all what do you think about them not releasing a new version of the entities packages in you know almost nine months now and what do you think about it going forward kind of where's your head out i would love to hear from you all again feel free to leave that feedback down in the comment section below or join us over on discord over at tmg.dev discord Anyways, if you did enjoy today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more information about Unity's data oriented technology stack and their entity component system. Of course, if we do hear any more news from Unity, you know that um, you'll be hearing from me as soon as we do get that information. You know, again, I'm really hoping that I jinx it with this video and we see a release of the next version of Entities packages within like a week from now, you know, fingers crossed. But anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.